Good morning, everybody. Stats and Stats Lanka here. It is Wednesday morning, and guys, we are about to do some. So let's see. We got a little, a small little mulch landscape job, and then we're gonna head over <clears throat> to the house. We did that big mulch job, at, and we're going to uh, do some more. Like I think we're gonna scalp over there. And then she's got some stuff she wants done in the meadow that she has in the backyard. So that's what's on the agenda today. Um, guys, we've been super busy this past few weeks, just been slammed. And so that's why I haven't really been recording, just haven't had time to, just wanting to get everything done. But you know, like yesterday we had, a, we finished a big spring cleanup. It took, uh, total man hours was seven hours. So it took seven man hours to do. We started that Monday, finished it yesterday. And then we've just been doing a bunch of scalping and uh you know small little jobs here and there and so we've just been super super busy but finally guys i figured today would be a good day to record the only downside is that it is super freaking windy and that's really annoying but other than that guys i mean i think it's going to be a great day so hopefully you guys are all doing well hopefully you're staying busy and uh keep them busy but we are waiting for carlos and then we're gonna jackson has some appointments today so he won't be working and so then we're gonna head out to uh, the first one. So we'll see you when we get there. All right, everybody, what's up? So we did a little landscape job, planted some flowers, put some mulch down, uh, didn't record there, but now we're at the house. We did the big mulch job last month. And uh, sorry if it's a little windy, you can't hear me, but we're cutting down all of this, all of this stuff, um, just all of this grass, pra pra all this prairie grass, and then right here i'm gonna leave that stuff um she said leave the crepe myrtles alone so we're not gonna prune those like i said guys it's really windy and then after we do all this we're gonna scalp everything and we're gonna mow back there the fescue grass so that'll look nice and we're gonna weed eat a little bit of this meadow right here get the rest of these grasses so and of course, we choose the windiest day to do this. It's not as windy as it was on uh, Monday and Tuesday, guys. It was like 40 mile an hour winds. It was horrible. Couldn't do anything. But finally, we're getting this done. So go ahead and record it. So we got the tree fed, got all these cleaned up, and then cleaned up down there. Next up, we're weed eating this meadow. There's a little creek right here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it runs that way. And we're just hitting that, this part right here, basically. And I actually have a SRM 3020 that I've never used, so I'm excited to crank that out and try it. But we're gonna get this thing weed eating, see what it done.
just didn't take very long, but we got, she just wanted it down there and to this tree line because there's some plants over here she wants to hit. So got this part, weeded it down. It actually looks really cool when it's weeded it down. It looks a lot better, but that stuff will grow back in pretty soon. Um, next up guys, we're gonna be scalping the yard and then mowing this fescue right here. So I guess I'll go ahead and record me doing some of that. And then after that, we'll be done for the day, be an early day. So you guys enjoy this mowing. Okay, everybody, so we are officially done here and we got it scalped. So as you can see, all around, all the Bermuda, scalped it down, cut it at two inches. Um, guys, scalping, I get this question a million times whenever I talk about scalping. So I'm just gonna answer it here so I don't have to answer it in the comments a thousand times. But scalping, guys, we do it down here in the south on Bermuda grass because it's cutting it low, bagging the clippings, and uh, so it gives the grass a fresh layer to go through in the spring. And so it's kind of like dethatching, just the way we do it down here in the south with Bermuda grass. And it is a double charge when you scalp also because you have to mow it twice. But back here, we got the fescue, the fescue rye mix. Carlos got it mowed with the Honda. Looks amazing. We got the meadow cut down, a little like hanging trampoline or something. That's pretty neat. But we got all this done. Looks really good. 
Scott or the mulch is still holding up back there. And then we come out here to the front. Mulch is holding up good up here. Those Japanese maples came in really nice right there. Those were dormant when we put the mulch down about a month ago. So yeah, here you go. Grass is cut down, bagged up guys. This new trailer has been a blessing, man. I'll tell you what, cause uh, where I dump my stuff at, they started charging 20 bucks a load, no matter how much you have. So we've been making it count, loading the trailer full of bags of grass and you know, loading the truck bed of grass and stuff like that. So this trailer has been great. If I'm a 12 foot trailer, no way, we would have been doing that still. He'd have to find something else. But let me come over here. I don't know if I told you guys, but I bought a, another commercial Honda. Still got the 48 right. And then uh, just this past weekend, I put the tool rack on. I got it drilled down in the wood down there. And then I drilled it to the rail also, so it's not going anywhere. And I got the gas can racks on. Debating if I'm gonna put a blower rack on. If I do, it'll be on that side over there. Carlos says I should. Um, but for now, we just keep all the blowers and stuff in this box and I just lock it up so yeah guys but we've been moving and grooving it's nice to be done what time is it 2:30. it's 2 30 man it's nice to be done we've have getting done done at like six o'clock every night this week so I'm glad that we're done earlier have the rest of the day to do some things but guys we're gonna head back to the shop and drop the trailer off and then we're gonna meet you guys back at the house so we'll see you then so we are home it is three o'clock and we are finally we're done for the day guys it feels good to be done early um especially during the middle of the week you know and then tomorrow jackson and i are going up to the city about a 30 minute drive and we're gonna be cutting up some tree limbs for my great grandma who lives in southeastern oklahoma but she's back up in the city and at her house and so we're going there it's from the ice storm last october she just got there and she said it's pretty bad so we're gonna go there and um trim up some branches home to the front for big trash day which is like next saturday or the one after that or something but anyway guys hopefully y'all enjoyed this video before i go i do want to tell you guys something that happened the other day i had a customer kind of like stalk me and it was really 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 annoying and um so we were, we were doing a landscape job and this customer comes outside and they keep asking me questions and then they started following me around and they started trying to tell me what to do guys and so it was fine when i was talking to them and they're following me around, but whenever they start to try to tell you what to do, um, that's whenever it starts to irk me. And I'm just like, can I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm the professional, I know what I'm doing. I don't need you telling me, you know, mulch needs to go here. Or she said, the mulch, are you gonna mulch the front of the flower bed? And I said, yes, but I'm gonna get the back first. So I'm not stepping on the fresh mulch to get to, uh, to the back part from the front. And she was like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. That's smart. And I was like, yeah, that's why you need to quit <laughs> telling me what to do and just go inside, quit hovering me. You know, it's really annoying when, uh, customers do that like it's okay to come out and talk you know for a little bit but when the customer is out there the whole time and constantly trying to tell you what to do and just this and that guys it is just super super annoying and you just get fed up with it you know and so that's that's what happened i felt like i was getting stalked by the cut it was it was weird man but luckily that was just a one-off landscape job so it's not a weekly mo client so i don't have to worry about that and it was an elderly elderly lady who lived alone so you know she wanted to talk to somebody so i can understand that but you know, if you're gonna be out there telling me how to do my job, I, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> it's just, it's annoying. Um, so, to all you people who are, who do have a landscaper who works for you, uh, just try your best not to try to tell them what to do and follow them around. You know, just let them do their thing, and uh, most likely they're professional and they know what they're doing. So, anyway, oh guys, look at this real quick. I don't think I ever showed you this. See this crack right here, all the way around the windshield. Happened whenever it was like negative 30 outside. I had ice on my windshield, turned on the defrost, boom. This little chip right here, that little chip, it just expanded all the way around, man. It sucked, but I'm not gonna get a new windshield. I mean, it's a work truck, so it doesn't impair my vision, so really no point, but. Anyway, guys, there's my story. Let me know if you guys have ever had that happen to you, a customer just stalking you and being super annoying, but. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go inside and shower up and enjoy the rest of my day off, man. It's gonna be nice. Got a couple extra hours off. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.